I think Bangladesh and their home conditions are very, very dangerous wherever they play. But it is slightly different, and I think when we'll have a few days there to adjust and to, and to get ready for that pitch. Absolutely. I, I, I disagree with you. I think Bangladesh is a very good red ball side in Bangladesh. They've, had, they've got a good record here. But yeah, it's a different format. It's new to us. The Irish team haven't played much red ball cricket in the last few years. Their last test match was three years ago. So of course it's going to be a challenge, but it's a challenge that we're looking forward to taking on. Yeah, the confidence is there. I mean, it's a, it's a different format, and I think maybe our bowlers might be more threatening with the red ball. We've got Annie McBride coming in, who's a very good off spinner. He's got great control. So the Bangladesh side's got a lot of left-handed batsmen, so I think it could be a different challenge altogether. Oh, it's a new format, and I think the motivation, no matter what happens in the white ball series, the motivation for the test team is going to be there no matter what. The only way Ireland is going to improve is if they keep getting opportunities to play against Bangladesh. I mean, once upon a time, Bangladesh were in the same situation. And look at the great cricketing nation that they've become. So, yeah, you've got to take it every series by series. And, yeah, the Red Bull side is very excited for the, for the matches. I don't know enough about it, to be honest. I know it boils a lot down to finances. But, of course, I mean, as a player, you want to play as much cricket as you can. Your career is only a certain amount of years. Uh, and particularly me coming to the back end of my career, I want to play as much test cricket as I can. And I think Ireland have proved that they're a good cricketing nation and they're developing and they're getting stronger and stronger. So I'd like to hope that they get more chances to play test cricket. Obviously, if we can get some momentum, if we can win that game, it would be great going into the test series just for the morale in the camp. But that being said, I mean, it's, I'm not part of the T20 squad, so I don't really know the plans or what's happening there. But of course, you know, it'll be great if they can get a victory there and it'll just be good for the whole camp going into the Test Series. Yeah. You have played your last game here in Bangladesh. Yeah. If you get that opportunity, to stay here in the game. Yeah, I'm very excited. My last Test match was in Dhaka, and I had quite a good Test match. I think if you remember, we took it to the fifth day in the last session. So it's a huge honor to be back there, and I'm looking forward to the challenge exceptionally excited. It's a huge opportunity for Ireland. There's three test matches in the next sort of four weeks, so it's a very exciting time for everybody involved. Uh, yeah, obviously I played for Zimbabwe, but I had to wait three years to qualify for Ireland, and I've just recently qualified, so it's my first opportunity to play for them. Uh, I've put in a lot of hard work and it's been a, yeah, a long road to get to where I am now, but I'm just excited for this opportunity and looking forward to representing Ireland. Um, obviously, you have had uh, quite disappointing in the white ball series so far. So, how do you guys, after that, test series, how do you do it? How do you do it? What about your evolution about the weekend of the new and what are going to do this back at the weekend? Yeah, I think it's quite different to here. Um, obviously, from what I remember, the soil was a lot darker and the wicket was a little bit different. Um, but that being said, I think Bangladesh and their home conditions are very, very dangerous wherever they play. But it is slightly different, and I think when we'll have a few days there to adjust and to, and to get ready for that pitch. In case of Mirpur, uh, moving, I think, is very important. Station. Yeah. Uh, what Yeah, the confidence is there. I mean, it's a, it's a different format, and I think maybe our bowlers might be more threatening with the red ball. We've got Annie McBride coming in, who's a very good off-spinner. He's got great control, so the Bangladesh side's got a lot of left-handed batsmen, so I think it could be a different challenge altogether. Uh, Bangladesh has played just is 20 years already, but it's true that Bangladesh is not very good in the test. Uh, this is the hope of Ireland. Please, will you repeat that? Uh, Bangladesh played a long time, uh, yeah. 22 years, but uh, Bangladesh is not a very good team in red ball, especially white ball Bangladesh plays not very good. So do you think it's a chance for Ireland to Bangladesh have a weak team in test completely? Absolutely. I, I, I disagree with you. I think Bangladesh is a very good red ball side in Bangladesh. They've, had, they've got a good record here. But yeah, it's a different format. It's new to us. The Irish team haven't played much red ball cricket in the last few years. Their last test match was three years ago. So of course it's going to be a challenge, but it's a challenge that we're looking forward to taking on.